we are literally at the half mark of 2024 and we need to talk Hello my darlings, my name is Akonamu Ifini here and welcome to Half Mark 2024. Yes, that's what I'm calling it. Because in this video, we we have to talk, okay? We have to review the first half of 2024 because yeah, you know, you know, here's the tea, okay? Disclaimer before we even like get one with the video, I am going to try to be as organized as possible because y'all know I just picked up the camera and sat down and started talking. I haven't planned any of it. Like, let me tell you, when I was starting this video, when I was picking up the camera, I was supposed to do a June reset. And then I had already started filming for like four minutes and I realized we are at half mark. We're literally at the half mark of 2024. So let's talk about that, you know? Because I've always been told by my mom that one year, can make a big difference like how a year starts is not how a year ends and i can attest to that as of right now because february me february march me and june may me who child two mega different people okay we're gonna review the first half of 2024 because it was a shit show oh i like okay i pride myself as an authentic vlogger like I am not going to come here and make videos of how perfect my life is because we all know nobody's world is always too perfect um I don't do it more often of course because I don't really talk about uh, my emotions and my feelings and whatever but when it's time to I tell you guys about my struggles okay as much as my wins because we're here and you know, we're discussing every part of our lives. We're gonna laugh together, we're gonna cry together, we're gonna we're gonna make it, we're gonna make it, okay, at the end of it all. So let's begin. Where are we gonna begin, y'all? Where are we gonna begin? Okay. January 2024. 20, I'm gonna tell you guys something, eh? A side side note. I never go out the night off. New Year's. Like, people are always out uh, 31st, and they, like, you know, make sure, like, they're out in a club or somewhere to usher in the New Year. I bitch, I don't do that. I don't do that. I mostly stay at home. So we usher in the New Year, just here with my mom and the dogs, just chilling, drinking wine, happy. And then I started January, more like the spring semester. And, well, shit hit the fan. Because I am not gonna lie, I had the most lows the first four months, four? Yes. The first four months, basically the spring semester. The spring semester is between January and April, the first week of April, and I had a lot of lows. I made so many mistakes that I regret. I did some shit that I regret. But, but, in the same breath, I am glad they happened. And that will sound very con like it will sound very contradicting, but I did some shit that I'm not proud of. Um, there was a lot of late nights, a lot of drinking, a lot of drunk driving, which is first of all fatal, fatal, okay? Because a bitch then had an accident twice. Actually, I think I've banged my car three times, and I'm talking about two semesters, two semesters 
and I'm like three semesters a whole year. I banged my car three different times, and I've had that car since 2019, and I've never really had a major accident except you know hitting like a parking those parking tiny parking what am I gonna call them? You know those poles that are at the end of the parking, and when you pull into the parking, you don't fucking see them because they're so low, so you end up hitting them. Yeah, that was the worst I've ever done with the car, period. Nothing else. Um, the first accident was an accident, of course, because I wasn't drinking that night at all. I was sober. That happened last year. We're not gonna ash up. We're not gonna talk about things that happened last year. So this year, I was drinking every day. Every fucking day. I leave the house, I'm drinking. And not just cocktails and champagne like I used to. No. Hardcore liquor. Um, see, what? Okay, the people I was drinking with. I'm not saying they're bad. I had a group of people we used to like party and drink with. I'm not saying they're bad. What I'm saying is I can't even blame them. Because they are at that age where all you care about is fun. And I was there too. You know, see my 18 year old self? Woo! Me and my bestie. Oh my God. Party after party. What car are we going into? We don't even care. We don't even know. We used to party with people who don't even fucking know. We used to go to clubs. We used to be the, you know? You know, around um, 18, 19. COVID came and settled me down because a bitch was wild. And then I think I was trying to re live this fun moment even if right now i have a lot of responsibilities to do i have a business that i'm growing i have a brand that i'm growing it's not the same as when i was 19. see i was partying i was at 23 because i didn't turn yet at 23 i was out partying with 19 year olds to them partying is the only thing they're seeing they're not thinking about the future they're not thinking about businesses no they're here to have their own fun and i understand because i was at that stage as well however i was trying to live the 19 year old's life at 23. so that's why the problem comes in so you my mom got so mad at me she was like we're selling the car you know she's like that car is gonna kill you. Yada yada yada. She wasn't wrong. Okay? Like at the moment, I was like, you just don't want me to have fun. But when I sat down with it myself, I realized, bitch, you could have died. Because let me tell you what happened for me to snap the fuck up. I, after I closed for the semester, I went to return my books, right? And I drank with some friends. I was drunk, drunk. So the drive home, I didn't fucking remember. Up to date, I can't fucking, re I can't fucking tell you. The one thing that snapped me back into reality is I hit a damn pothole. But that was way closer to home than it was to school. My my tire bust. I didn't even realize that it bust. I I didn't. I got home, I looked at him like, bitch, you have a flat tire, but see, I'm drunk. So, like, that's a problem for another day. And when I woke up the next morning, it's like I was looking at myself from somebody else's body. Does that make sense? Like, I was, I was not happy with what I'm seeing. I had abandoned my business, I had abandoned my brand, I had abandoned everything for a little what? A little fun? What kind of fun was that anyway? I mean, it's not like I'm not, I'm, I'm, it's not like I can't go out and have fun, I can't. But you see, I was, I don't even know how to say it. I don't. Like, I don't know why, but it's getting, like, emotional a little bit. Because I hated what I was doing, but I was still doing it. Does that make sense? Like, it was probably the worst. 
actually it is the worst thing that I've ever done in my entire life because it's not like I started drinking this year no that's what my mom says but I started drinking at what 17 <laughs> I'm Kenyan actually less than that let me tell you the truth at 15 I had my first shot <laughs> we used to go day clubbing but you know you take like two shots three you're like oh I'm drunk you know those kind of things also i'm from kenya so it happens it's not something new or ooh, no it's kind of regular you know but anyway that was just time to do it for fun and i don't even fucking know what kind of brand i was drinking i think i think at that time i was even drinking chrome whatever whatever was cheap but if, if i might say that's what I used to drink. And then um, I kind of, kind of, you know, elevated. I remember when I was in Daystar, me and my best friend used to drink a lot. But not, actually I don't understand why that drinking wasn't bad, but this one is bad. I can't, actually cannot, like, put one and two together. Because I remember we used to go partying at Kwaya University. There's a place called Bogani. <laughs> they used to have, they used to sell 50, 50 pop shots. And then we had a friend in choir so I used to drive all the way from Daystar to choir let me explain if you're if you're from if you're from Nairobi and you understand Nairobi Daystar Valley Road it's in Valley Road opposite Nairobi Hospital right choir is a place called Bogani it's basically between Karen and Rungai that's a far distance because you go through Bagadi, you go through Langata, to there. So, for us, it was all fun, okay? I used to get home at, what, 8, 8.30? <laughs> you know, have, like, a high-end fun. You know, I always say, like, cheap liquor is the one that gets you fucked up. Drink this cheap liquor, you're going to find yourself in the trenches, for sure. <sighs> but, yeah. I don't know. See, that time the drinking was exciting it was fun this one i don't know it was getting to a point that okay so yeah back to the morning of the day that i drove home and i didn't even realize that i got here i was reliving the night before and i'm like bitch you need to get your shit together you see, when I told you guys I'm taking a semester break off, there's a lot. There's a lot of reasons why. So many reasons why. I just needed a break to think. A break to get my act together. A break to think about my life. Because I'm not gonna I'm not gonna be another statistics, you know, 10 year old, dies drunk driving. No, I'm not gonna be another statistic. No. So, yeah, after, that was when, I'm trying to think about that date, I think like 13th of April or something, because it was a week after, wait, was it the day I was, no, that, no, 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 okay, it wasn't the day that I was returning, booked, no, it was, Oh my god, it was in May. Yeah, it was the week before 6th May on a Wednesday, because 6th May was Monday. So the week before on Wednesday, I had gone to school to figure out my situation. Yes, it was that day. I was going back. It was May. May somewhere. I know it was on a Wednesday, because I remember going to school on a Wednesday. And yeah, that's what it all happened. Oh, I was going. I remember I was not returning my books. No, it was in May something. And I was going to, con to I, w I went to school to, yeah, I went to school to clear up about my student account and all that kind of stuff. Yeah, it was that time before I decided that I'm not doing that semester. Yeah. Mm -hmm. Yeah. It was quite recently, actually. It was last month. It was, yeah, it was last month. And was it the week of 6th? It was the week of 6th. I just remember it was 8th 
March. It was 8th May. Oh my god, I thought of that time so intense. It was 8th May because school had already started. Anyway, so yeah, that was the last time I was like, bitch, if you don't change your ways, bitch, you're gonna die. You are going to die. Ah, I'm good now, actually. Like, I for a second thought that I'd turn into like an alcoholic or something. No, I hadn't. I hadn't. I was okay. I was okay. So now I'm going through my self reinvention. Basically, I'm just trying to be the best version of myself that I can be. And that means that I am going to lose. It's not even I'm going to. I have to. It's like a mast. I have to lose a lot of what I had found security and comfort in. Because it's not working. And when something is not working for you, you change it. And that's, that's what I'm doing right now. I've just been at home, chilling. The last time I went out was my birthday. We had a couple of cocktails, a couple of shots. Good ones, we came home. We good. And it was fun for me. It was not even a club, it was more of a restaurant that had cocktail hour, happy hour from like what I think 5 to 10 p.m. They had board games, card games. It was fun. You guys are gonna see that video. I'm gonna release that and vlog at the end of this week. But it was exciting. It was fun for me. You know? Anyway, <laughs> I'm just getting into my I'm to my like I was I zoned out for a little bit because just thinking like I have made major changes in in under a month I am just trying to have a better second half of this year because you're allowed to make mistakes in life because like I said in the beginning of the video I am glad that it happened because now I can learn from it and move forward, you know, be better. And the goal for me in life is always being better than I was. I'm in competition with myself, not anybody else. I always have to be better than I was last year, last month, last week, period, okay, period. So yeah. I thought I'm gonna like do the plans for the other half of this year in this video. Clearly I cannot because the review of the last half was intense. So I'm gonna keep it in one video. Let that sink in. If you're going through the same situation, it's okay. Give yourself a break and it's gonna be easier for you to get yourself out of that situation after you give yourself a break you need the break if you do it without the break you're not going to be able to finding yourself needs you to be by yourself basically i think that's what i'm gonna that's the best way to describe it finding yourself the best way to do it is by being by yourself you know have this moment where you keep your phone away it's just you yourself and you that's what i've been doing that's what i am doing Right now, I'm just focusing on anything that gives me peace, money, and comfort. I don't want anyone disturbing my peace. You disturb my peace, you go away. I do not care who you are. Anyway, guys, so I have poured out what has been happening to me and what I've been doing. And... I'm going to end the video right there. If I keep on thinking about it, I'm just going to start crying. And I made it, I made a vow to myself when I started doing content creation. I 
will never cry on camera. When I see people doing it, I feel like it's tacky, so I'll never. I got a little emotional. I didn't, you didn't see a tear, but they were coming. <laughs> they were on the way, they were like this. We, we, we didn't see them, but they were coming. We're gonna keep them in. Because we're not in that moment anymore. We're past it. We're moving forward. So guys, that is all I had for today. Thank you so much for listening. I hope you followed through. This is a more vulnerable video than I've ever done before. Ever. Like I've never really done such a video before. Talking about the worst part of my life. And yeah. Subscribe to my channel. <laughs> we have fun here. It's just that today... What I said had to be said. But we always have fun here, you guys. You know that. So subscribe to my channel and like this video. <laughs> and I'm going to see you in the next one. It's going to be a little bit more fun. It's going to be goal setting. And I love goal setting. It's my favorite thing in the world. So yeah, see you next Tuesday. Bye-bye. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her. She's a Mona Lisa. Everyone's lining up to see her.